Welcome to DX Sudoku training video number 36. In this video we will discuss the advanced puzzle solving technique called TurboFish. This video has three parts. The first part discusses the pattern and logic of a TurboFish and the second part shows you how to find a TurboFish pattern within a puzzle. And the third part will test you on what you have learned. The test examples are carefully designed to give you additional insights into finding a TurboFish within a puzzle. Consider the following Sudoku in progress. Before we show you the TurboFish pattern, we first need to discuss some terminology. Consider the two cells highlighted in light green. Both cells have a possible three candidate. The possible three candidates within the two cells have a strong link relationship between them. We have outlined both cells in the relationship. We have a solid line with an arrow to indicate the direction of the strong link. This means if cell 1, 5 contains the value 1, the other cell 2, 6 must have the value 3. This is because the house making up block 2 must have at least 1, 3 in it. Next consider the two cells now highlighted in light green in block 1, both having a possible 3 candidate. Starting from the cell at 2, 6, there is a weak link relationship between the cells in block 1 shown with two separate dotted lines with an arrow showing the direction. What this means is if there is a 3 as the value in cell 2, 6, then there cannot be a 3 in the two cells highlighted in light green in block number 1. Next consider the two cells highlighted in the house making up column 1. There is a strong link relationship between the cell in 2, 1 and the cell in 7, 1 as shown. We are now showing a complete turbofish pattern within the puzzle. A turbofish is composed of four cells and three links. The first and last link in the chain must be a strong link. The kill zone is defined by any cell sharing a house with the first and last cell in the chaining sequence. In this puzzle, the kill zone is one cell highlighted in light red. The target candidate to kill is highlighted in dark red. Next, let's consider the logic for how a turbofish works. We have to test two scenarios based on the two values in our first cell in our chaining sequence. The first scenario, we have a value of 3 in the cell 1, 5. This results in the target candidate in our kill zone being killed as shown. The second scenario, we have a value of 1 in the cell 1, 5. The logic is shown. This also results in the target candidate in our kill zone being killed as shown. Since both scenarios result in our target candidate being killed, we remove the non-possible candidate from the puzzle. Next we will show you how to find a turbofish pattern within a Sudoku puzzle. Consider the following Sudoku in progress. We have highlighted all the cells having a possible one candidate. We begin our TurboFish search by going through each cell looking for the first cell in a strong link. We find a strong link which is now outlined in black. Next we search and find a second and third link as shown. We establish a kill zone and determine if there are any possible target candidates to kill. We discover even though we find a TurboFish, there is no target candidate to kill in our kill zone. We move to the next possible chaining sequence. We find the next strong link to consider now highlighted in black. Next we search and find a second and third link as shown. But this is not a valid turbofish pattern. We continue searching for a valid turbofish pattern. We find a valid turbofish pattern in the puzzle. We establish a kill zone. Even though we find a turbofish pattern, there are no target candidates to kill in our kill zone. We continue searching for a valid turbofish pattern. We find a valid turbofish pattern in the puzzle. We establish a kill zone. Even though we find a turbofish pattern, there are no target candidates to kill in our kill zone. We have finished searching the possible one candidates. Cells having a possible 2 candidate are now highlighted. We continue searching for a valid turbofish pattern. We
we finish searching the possible two candidates. Next, all the cells having a possible three candidate are now highlighted. We continue searching for a valid turbofish pattern. We find a valid turbofish pattern in the puzzle. We establish a kill zone. Even though we find a turbofish pattern, there are no target candidates to kill in our kill zone. We continue searching for a valid turbofish pattern. We find a valid turbofish pattern in the puzzle. This time we find what we are looking for. We have a valid turbofish pattern and a target candidate to kill in our kill zone. We visually validate the logic. We remove the non-possible candidate from the puzzle. Time to test what you have learned. Before we begin, please take some time to support the Exodoku. Thank you for your support. Consider the Sudoku in progress. All the cells having a possible 5 candidate are now highlighted. Pause the video and find the turbofish within the puzzle. Identify the 4 cells, the 3 links, the kill zone, and the target candidate to kill. Here is a hint. The first link in the chaining sequence is now shown. Pause the video and find the rest of the turbofish. Here is the solution. Consider the Sudoku in progress. All the cells having a possible 3 candidate are now highlighted. Pause the video and find the turbofish within the puzzle. Identify the 4 cells, the 3 links, the kill zone, and the target candidate to kill. Here is a hint. The first link in the chaining sequence is now shown. Pause the video and find the rest of the turbofish. Here is the solution. Consider the Sudoku in progress. All the cells having a possible 4 candidate are now highlighted. Pause the video and find the turbofish within the puzzle. Identify the 4 cells, the 3 links, the kill zone, and the target candidate to kill. Here is a hint. The first link in the chaining sequence is now shown. Pause the video and find the rest of the turbofish. Here is the solution. Consider the Sudoku in progress. All the cells having a possible one candidate are now highlighted. Pause the video and find the turbofish within the puzzle. Identify the four cells, the three links, the kill zone, and the target candidate to kill. Here is a hint. The first link in the chaining sequence is now shown. Pause the video and find the rest of the turbofish. Here is the solution. Consider the Sudoku in progress. All the cells having a possible 2 candidate are now highlighted. Pause the video and find the turbofish within the puzzle. Identify the 4 cells, the 3 links, the kill zone, and the target candidate to kill. Here is a hint. The first link in the chaining sequence is now shown. Pause the video and find the rest of the turbofish. Here is the solution. Consider the Sudoku in progress. All the cells having a possible 4 candidate are now highlighted. Pause the video and find the turbofish within the puzzle. Identify the 4 cells, the 3 links, the kill zone, and the target candidate to kill. Here is a hint. The first link in the chaining sequence is now shown. Pause the video and find the rest of the turbofish. Here is the solution. Consider the Sudoku in progress. All the cells having a possible 9 candidate are now highlighted. Pause the video and find the turbofish within the puzzle. Identify the 4 cells, the 3 links, the kill zone, and the target candidate to kill. Here is a hint. The first link in the chaining sequence is now shown. Pause the video and find the rest of the turbofish. Here is the solution. Consider the Sudoku in progress. All the cells having a possible 8 candidate are now highlighted. Pause the video and find the turbofish within the puzzle. Identify the 4 cells, the 3 links, the kill zone, and the target candidate to kill. Here is a hint. The first link in the chaining sequence is now shown. Pause the video and find the rest of the turbofish. Here is the solution. Consider the Sudoku in progress. All the cells having a possible 1 candidate are now highlighted. Pause the video and find the turbofish within the puzzle. Identify the 4 cells, the 3 links, the kill zone, and the target candidate to kill. 
Here is a hint. The first link in the chaining sequence is now shown. Pause the video and find the rest of the turbofish. Here is the solution. Consider the Sudoku in progress. All the cells having a possible fork candidate are now highlighted. Pause the video and find the turbofish within the puzzle. Identify the four cells, the three links, the kill zone, and the target candidate to kill. Here is a hint. The first link in the chaining sequence is now shown. Pause the video and find the rest of the turbofish. Here is the solution. This completes the Exodoku training video number 36. Thank you for watching.